Edwards. We expected these two teams to put up a fight, and we have seen that, and we expect more going into Game 4. Opening face-off just moments away. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Good hit on the play. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Gonzalez. Oh, what a save in front. Oh, what a save. Uh, that doesn't swing the momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Tukarski's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. And they'll start with possession. Here's a shot. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Rochester's looking to break out. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Here's a shot. Snags with the glove high on the felt. Roberts won it off the faceoff. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Puck dumped in. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Forces the turnover. Sends the pass over. Rochester's got it along the wall. Takes the puck at the point. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. There's a collision with some authority. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Great poke check on the reach. Cicciotti's hooking in on the attack. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a block of stuff. High on the belt. Edmonds is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official, James, but they're not changing their mind. This is the penalty. Syracuse sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Flag's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. Quick feed to Stevens. A chance in front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Dumont's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Sent into the offensive zone. Syracuse has possession of it now. Pushes it across to Gonsalves. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Takes the puck behind the net. Quick pass to Dumont. Point blank stop by Tukarski. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. And off the draw, they win possession. Slip feed. Some gymnastics at its finest. Really 
want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. And a smart hits up play to put that away by Myers. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision. Heroes called for tripping. He's off to the box. to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one-timer. Syracuse will play it from behind the net. Oh, save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, Jake. Oh, come on, it goes off the outside of the best. Syracuse is really struggling to capitalize on their chances here. It's a tie game. They're so close to getting the extra one here, but they're unable to convert. That post keeps getting in the way. Picked off by Element. Moves it quickly over to Dave. Elements got it in the offensive zone. Here's a feed in front. Picked off in front. Denies him. Tukarski's all over that shot and makes an incredible save, getting to the top of his crease quickly because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the slot. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Well, the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. And that carries off a body in traffic. Syracuse looks to go on the attack. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Moves it to Davies. The Americans move to the offensive zone. Fires it on net. And that's blocked from someone in front. Taken along the wall by Allard. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Taken by Dave. Great shot from the slot. Tender hangs on for the whistle. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The game is still scoreless. The Americans win the draw here at their own end. Let's get the call. Alarms going to the box for tripping. Teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Yost is known to bring the offense for his team. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. And they take possession after the defensive zone face-off. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get that puck down the ice. Works it across to Richards. Into the offensive end now. Shot! Oh, tremendous save on the one-timer! Dumont's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Rochester's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Takes a shot! Stops that one. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Rochester's got a hold of the puck. Ten seconds left. Alard standing up, ready to go. And that carries off a body in the lane. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. From center, they get into the attacking area. Broken up by Stillman. Handles the pass. To his teammate. Glove save. 
And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Here in the late going of the frame, still looking for our first goal. Rochester's won the faceoff. Denies him, he got all of it. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Here's an odd man rush. The Americans have it from their own end. Up along the wing. Big time hit. Dumps the puck in. And the puck's kicked free. Grabs it in his own end. Here's a short pass to Edmonds. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. Zoom as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Richards. Handles the puck. Fantastic save! Now these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Edmonds plays it against the boards. He scores! What a goal! That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there are defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Crunch have finally found a way to deliver the game's first goal. Yeah, and it comes late in the first period. It's like ripping the Band-Aid off. This one stings for the opponent this late in the first period as the energy completely shifts. Puck knock loose in the neutral zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Can't keep a hold of it. Rochester's got possession of the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Crunch have the puck in their own zone. Across the line along the left wall. Oh, puts it wide! The Americans get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides it up front. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. away in the defensive end. Angles it over to Finley. Here's a chance. Too much traffic in the lane. Rochester's got the puck along the boards. Sends a pass over. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. this one up through the first 20 minutes. Both goaltenders playing with a ton of confidence, James, and the uh, players are going to have to figure out how to scoop them by. I think there needs to be more net front presence. They're seeing everything tonight. It's only one nothing. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. Picked up along the wall by Crow. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. And some textbook body contact there. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Slides the puck down low. Receives the pass. Quick feed to Clay. Here they come on the attack. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. The 
Bruins, they're trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive zone, and they just wire one off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Here they are on the attack. Shot! Here's a shot! And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Stevens is having a lot of fun out there. Why wouldn't he be, James? I mean, he's putting up numbers left, right, and center on this point streak. But you know who's also having a lot of fun? His team. They're rallying around him. Looking forward to another one. Great defensive stick work on the play. Stop! Continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Syracuse is checking all the boxes tonight, probably making their coach proud because now up by two in this second period, they're doing it all right, Cheryl. Yeah, they really are, and it's the intensity and the tenacity in which they're playing with, James. You have to get the puck to be able to own it. Well, guess what? They've been owning it because they've been competing for it. And then they're not just sitting around. They're doing something with it. They're dominating in terms of the shots. And I expect that they're going to put another one up if they continue to play this way. Roberts moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And makes the routine save. Tukarski's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. The save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going more. Moves it quickly over to Element. Hooked away in the offensive zone by Fortier. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Syracuse continues to lead by a pair of goals. Scoops up the puck now. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Takes the puck. Oh, the play! Whoa! That's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Score! Establish themselves as a playoff performer while well, the rookie an impressive start to leading a lasting impression. No question that this would have been a tough save to make, James, as he's trying to outbattle and see the puck with all of those bodies in front of him. But man, you gotta find a way to get that glove on the puck, especially when it's a windmill. He was looking for the flash and dash and just missed. Syracuse has been all over them tonight. Offensively, they have been clicking on all cylinders. Puck scooped up by Clay. Moves it around along the half wall. Sends it down low. Moves it to crowd. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Allard. Gets the puck in deep. The Americans gain possession. Looking for space inside the D zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Turns that one away. What a steal in his own end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Rochester's got the puck in the defensive end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Rochester's got to find a way to stop chasing the game, and the first thing they can do is start attacking and hounding the puck. You have to have it if you want to find a way to put it in. On the attack along the boards. No room for that one to get through. Grabbed along the board by Murph. The Americans will play from the defensive zone. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Crunch have been handed a two-minute penalty for charging. Rochester's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. And they manage to clear it. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Scrum along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Yopst. Syracuse will try to break out here shorthanded. Nice job to escape the zone. 
jumps stick handling in his own zone. Takes the pass. Moves it over to Davies. The Americans cross the line and gain the zone. Saves it over. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. With possession along the wall. This chance, and he uses the glove to keep that out, getting a piece of it. From the blue line, they take control of it. Scores! And that's his first goal of the season ever, and he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you, and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Syracuse looks like a completely different team tonight the way they played offensively. Well, they've had the puck the majority of the game, and when they have it, they've got quick close support so someone to move it to right away, and that's what's opening up lanes and giving them an opportunity to attack. Across the line! Great reach with the poke check by Walcott. Puts it on net for the point! Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. And they're going to be short-handed once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the PK. So difficult to get any kind of flow in a game when you're marching to the penalty box. The power play unit goes right back to work. A large one, a big draw on their own end. And they move the puck out of harm's way. He's got a step! Oh, beautiful save on the play! And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Syracuse gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Here he is with the backhander. Mersh has got it deep in the offensive end. And he slides it quickly to Crow. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Myers. Desperate to get it out of the zone. And they get it out of harm's way. Looks to get the puck over to Richards. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. But you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. Takes a shot, and the puck check. Oh, smart play. Oh, scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Houston's having one of those moments. We'll be looking at these highlights in the morning going, wow, wow, and more wow. Yeah, and they'll want to continue to wow into the third period and continue where they left off in the latter half of this game. But in order to do that, they're going to have to have good habits and not give any life to their opponent. And he takes the dish. They've got some momentum here. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. And he takes the feed. Finley's got it against the boards. And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to have battle, you got to have will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. Syracuse probably doesn't even need to rest in this second intermission based on how they have looked so far tonight up big. And the puck leaves the zone. Wolcott's got it in the defensive end. Working hard, but nothing's been going right for them in this game. Another chance off the post, and this is deflating for an entire bench. You need something to get them going.
going. Shot! And there's the save. The Americans will play it in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Yost. Play whistle dead offside the call. Syracuse continues to lead late in the second period. They've had no shortage of scoring chances tonight. Rochester's won the draw. Syracuse gains a hold of it. Slides the puck over. Poked away in the neutral zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Passes ahead from the right side. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Passes on over to Element. Quick pass to Fortier. Picks up the puck in his own end. Hammers him into the boards. Quick pass to Biro. Great read with the stick. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Syracuse is ready to go back to work on special teams. Dumont's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Battle along the boards. Big save just as time runs out. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next.
Marshall signals both teams into position. Syracuse goes right back to work on the power play here as they win the opening faceoff. The Crunch have gained control of the puck in their own zone. And now it's grabbed by Proud. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there, you're in and around the puck, you go fishing, and you wind up in the box. A little four-on-four -four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Syracuse has put a lot of pucks on net, and they've been rewarded for it, leading big time in the third. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Moving into the attacking zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Through center along the wing. The Americans will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. That knocks him off the puck. Off the post! How did he stop that one? And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Four pass on the play and the puck leaves the zone. The Americans run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. And he takes the feed. The Americans have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Center and feed! And that's intercepted! And it's a quick pass to Fortier. Slides the pass over to Murray. Good solid check and he loses control of it. From the left side, takes it at center. Shot! Oh, what a stop by on the felt! Portier's picking up steam. Syracuse on the attack. Oh, talk about brutal timing with the stick. Uh, this is so frustrating, James. You work hard to get to these spots, these positions, and then what happens? Your stick crumbles in two. And some good footwork to kick it away. Find some space in the corner. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Now a quick pass to Biro. Takes the feed. The Americans take it along the wall. Syracuse takes hold of the puck. Quick feed to Myers. Slides the puck across to Robert. Moves it quickly over to Dave. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Cooley. There's another stop. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Syracuse coaches have to be impressed with what they've seen from their players tonight. They have really attacked offensively and delivered. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Syracuse is getting a shot in the arm from their third line tonight. It's always great when you can get some offensive production from your depth scoring. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. And now it's to Kozak. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Americans gain possession in their own end. Richards takes it across the line. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Moves it to Murch. Cuts into the paint. That's blocked. And that's poked away by Gonsalves. Syracuse has the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Slides it quickly to Gonsalves. Puts it on there. Blocked in front. Turns to the page. Stones him in front. Jumps scudded along the boards. Snaps it on net. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Carroll's lugging the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. 
Francis just looking to break out of their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Syracuse have been outstanding tonight, and as a defensive specialist, I love their game. They close the neutral zone down, they force play to the outside, and they've really protected their goaltender, a reason why they're staring down the shutout. Another chance here on the man advantage. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. The Americans have it against the wall. And that goes wide. Trying to clear the puck. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Murray. And that's off target as it hits a body. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Wow, the home team is really under pressure. And the fans know it. This is to play. Rochester's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in, were ever probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals, they need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. The Americans gain control. Oh, what a save! They stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Syracuse came in hungry for this one, and their offense has exploded to lead here in the third. Grabs the puck. Across the line from center. Quick pass to Edmonds. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Syracuse has been humming along all night long in the offensive zone, and they lead in this third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Slides the puck over to Biro. And that pass is redirected. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Alaric's got the puck in his own zone. He's got a little jump. He's in. All alone. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Here he is in close. Comes up with the stop. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Syracuse is having one of those nights that anything that they've put on net seems to light the lamp. And they lead it big time here late in this third period. Takes it to the net. Blocked in traffic. He grabs the puck here at the point. And they keep the pressure on. Syracuse steps inside. Hooks it away. Great hand high. Handles it along the blue line. Coughs up the puck after that hit. The crunch have possession along the boards. The Americans move the puck in the defensive zone. Crozier slowed down with the hook, and the official's arm is in the air. Every once in a while, you just have this kind of night, and you just don't have it, and shift after shift, nothing goes right. Syracuse is set to go back to work on the power play. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Here he is in front. Oh, what a kind of save on the play. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Here's a shot. Oh, fantastic save by on the felt. Rips it from the blue line. Denies him again. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. And, that's and he takes 
Makes the pass. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. Quick feed to Fortier. Puck grab by Robert. Richards is about to get out of the box. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Scooped up along the wall by Stillman. Takes the feed from the left side. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Well, that play didn't go his way, James. He tried a little bit too much there. When you're trailing the game, I get you want to try and do a little bit extra and try and create some offense. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, it's been a complete blowout, James. Now you take a penalty and it stops the clock. It's a frustrating night. You just want to move on.